Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to deal with people telling you to move on from your God or day spouse. So if you find yourself in a situation where family and friends are telling you to move on from, you know, your God or day spouse, because maybe in their eyes, they feel like you're wasting your time, or maybe they feel like you can do better, or maybe um, they have pot potential spouses, you know, that they want to present to you, whatever the case may be, right? Um, if God is confirming this person to you, then you stay with what the Lord is confirming. Because to, to go outside of the boundaries of the Lord is to now position yourself to be found by a counterfeit. And we already know you cannot birth or even enter into destiny with a counterfeit. God doesn't make his covenant with a counterfeit. OK, so the people that's advising you, you know, to move on from your God ordained spouse as these individuals. Well, have you ever stood for a God ordained marriage promise? Do you understand what a God ordained marriage, you know, is, you know, you can take it a step further and ask them, well, do you believe that God, you know, chooses your spouse for you? Right. Get an idea of what going on in their mind. Right. Because when you when you really start challenging people in this way and asking them questions such as this, it's going to cause them to back down, right? Because most people, if we're honest, they don't believe in God. Most people, you know, they don't believe that God chooses their spouses, right? You know, most people are out here just living their life the way how they want to live their life, right? They're choosing their spouse based off of, you know, their um, preferences, right? So, but you don't have to be that person. You hear from God. You already got your confirmation from the Lord, and that's all that matters. If warfare is entering into your God or day marriage promise, understand the warfare is there to try you. So don't allow family and friends to get in your ear and have you thinking because there's warfare, because the person isn't pursuing, or you haven't heard from the individual that you're wasting your time, you can do better. What's better than a God or day spouse? What's better than the one God chose for you to do life with? This is what I would be saying to them, okay? And let me just say this for the people who are on, you know, the uh, watching these YouTube videos. You might be watching some dating um, coaches' videos, and they, you know, they talking about how when a man is interested, you know, these are the signs when a man is interested. Or they, you know, you might find some videos talking about when a man is, you know, when a man like you, he will pursue you. All of that is great, and it's true. But again, this is a God ordained marriage that you're standing for, and you are dealing with a prodigal. What does that mean? That means you are dealing with someone who God has given over to a reprobate mind. You are dealing with someone who God has placed a boundary between you and this person. The person can't pursue you until God gives the green light. See, this is what the world, family and friend, this is what they don't know. This is what they don't understand. Therefore, they want to give advice and, and try to lead you towards a counterfeit. You know this process. You can hear from your Heavenly Father. You are the one who God has given the visions and the dreams to concerning your promise. So you, you know, you have to make a decision. Am I going to listen to family and friends? Or I'm going to, or am I going to continue to believe what my heavenly father is saying to me, speaking to me, showing me? Because I want my promise. I want to walk into destiny, right? That's how you got to think about it. And whoever's not on board with your love story, whoever, you know, got a problem with it, they got to go. It's simple as that. You got to, you have to, you know, this process, this stand, you're going to, you know, God is going to direct you to walk away, even leave a few people behind. They can't go. You got to understand this process is going to stretch you. It's going to develop you. It's going to increase your faith. So you can't be around people who still got little faith. You can't be around people when you're doing things, to, when you're doing things God's way. You can't, you can't still be around worldly people. They're going to pull you over into their world. No. So God is going to create a separation, you know, between you and the ones who don't believe. You and the ones who are leading you or directing you to a counterfeit, right? But if you find yourself in a situation where you have people in your ear 
and they telling you, you wasted your time. That's not the one. You could do better than this. Let me say this. Let me just say this. Because sometimes people can look at the, the love story and, and see the potential. They can see the love these two individuals have for one another. They can see the loyalty. They can see that this person has character and they can envy that. They can want that for themselves. And when they start envying, you know, a person's spouse and they said to themselves, that's what I want. I always wanted someone who's loyal and has character and who would pray and stand for me like that. Because of the envy is there, that's a spirit. Now here comes the self-sabotaging advice. Now what's coming out of the person's mouth is not a directed you towards a counterfeit because they really want it. So you got to be careful with who you listen to. You got to be careful on who you share your love story with because everyone, everyone, you know, they don't have your best interest at heart. People have doors open and they quick to get jealous of what God promised you. So if you're in this situation, you have to make a decision and you got to ask yourself, Am I going to stand 10 toes down with what my heavenly father has said and spoken to me? Or am I going to listen to this person and get their results? It's up to you. All right. So with that, I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.